In this video, we'll take a look at how to very simply animate falling dominoes using the graph editor. Now I've got six dominoes here. I'm going to go ahead and select them, and then I will isolate selected, so that's the only thing that I'll see in my viewport using this icon. Now that makes it a little easier to work around without the rest of the scene made by one of my students in the way of these dominoes. So when I grab all the dominoes, first thing I'll notice is that they're going to pivot in the center and the dominoes need to pivot from the bottom if they're going to fall properly. So I'm going to press the D key and hold it and then I'm going to move all of their pivot points down to the bottom and then over to the leading edge of these objects. Now when I go to rotate with the E key, they can fall properly. Now, I'm going to set a keyframe for the rotate X, which is the axis of that rotation, for all six of the dominoes. So at frame one, they're all at zero rotation. And I'll go, I guess, up to frame five, and rotate them all so that they're lying on top of each other and keyframe that as well. Now notice, I'm not keyframing all the attributes, I'm only keyframing what I need, which is rotate X. Now I verify that they all fall down on top of each other. I'm gonna go into Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. This opens up the editing functionality for animation. We can see all the six dominoes in the left and the animation curve that represents their motion. Now very briefly, the animation curve represents the change in value in any given attribute that's animated, which is the vertical part of the graph, over time represented in frames, which is the horizontal part of the curve. The steeper the curve, the faster the object's value is changing. The more distance between these orange keyframes, the slower that object is changing, no matter what the attribute is. Now what I'm going to do is offset each of the curves to create a staggered animation. That's the first domino to fall, and I'm going to deselect that domino by holding down the control key and clicking on it. Now there's only the five remaining dominoes and their curve is right there in the graph editor. Now because they have the same rotation, the curve sits right on top of each other for those five dominoes. So let me show you how to navigate in the graph editor. You can hold down Alt and hold down Shift at the same time with the right mouse button to zoom in and out in just one direction, making it a lot easier to move around. Now I'm going to select all of the curves for those remaining five dominoes. I'll press W for move, hold down shift, and I'm going to move the dominoes over about three frames. This creates an offset. There's the first one on the left and the remaining five on the right. I'll deselect the second domino and move the remaining four curves over three frames to the right. I'll deselect the third one and move the remaining three curves, three frames to the right. Deselect the fourth one and move the remaining two curves, three frames to the right. And then finally with the last domino, I'll set its curves three frames to the right as well. And this creates a staggered effect. When I scrub the animation, you can see that the dominoes are falling in order because I've staggered those curves. Now the timing is uh, playing back really super fast. That means I need to go into my animation setup with this icon here and set my max playback to real time, 24 frames a second. Now the timing's not great on these dominoes. It's not gonna be perfect. This is a very cartoonish effect, but we can see that the domino is penetrating into the next domino as it falls. So I can adjust that by just adjusting the timing. 
I want to make these curves a little bit more flat or basically put more distance between the keyframes. So I'll grab all the end keyframes, press W for move, I'll hold down shift, and with the middle mouse button, I'll shift those keyframes two positions to the right, making the fall just a little bit slower. I'll add another one keyframe offset, and this is looking a little bit better. And that's one quick trick with using the graph editor to adjust your animation.